It's your boy, Jay Green. Jay's Green Room. Green Room TV. You know what I'm saying? And we got another one, man. You know, I stay working, man. I stay working. We got Eat Greedy Gang, Eat Greedy Music. We got Eat Greedy in this hoe. Eat Greedy Gang, man. I know what the fuck is going on, man. Straight up, straight up. We got Eat Greedy Sevo. We got Eat Greedy Red. And we got Guapo in this motherfucker, man. Yeah, hey, yeah, man. Hey, man. He do <coughs> like the Beatles. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we ain't no Nikos. We the Beatles. Like the Beatles. Up, I'm fucking with it. Straight out of Houston, Texas, huh? Yes, sir. So, let's get them to him from the top, man. What side of town y'all from? Shit, I'm from Lakewood. Okay, north side. Mm -hmm. Cartel Bo. Mm -hmm. Lakewood type mm -hmm. shit. Shout out Bo. Free Bo, man. Free Bo, for real. For real. You know, goddamn me, you know. Outside, third one. Oh, 700 D block, man. Kenny Home. Kenny Home. From the bottom. Kenny Home. Let's take the ghetto. It's up. It's up. From the bottom. A leader. Oh, it's from the bottom. Mm -hmm. See, people, a lot of people need to understand, too. When you're from third ward, it's a difference. You know what I'm saying? There's some Huxtables on one side. And it's, it's the bottom is it's serious. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> All right, look. Shit, we're going to get on the Lakewood shit. But let's, let's break them down. You know what I'm saying? What's it like coming up at third ward? Shit, you know, I ain't gonna lie, it was fun. I ain't gonna lie, you know, we were being kids and shit. Yeah. Like, it was fun, it was fun. Like, both y'all from, both y'all from Kimmy Homes? Yeah, nah, he from Kimmy Homes. You said Anita, you said Anita, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying, seeing the ice cream truck and shit, you know what I'm saying, like, just being around, like, it was, it's like a family, you know what I'm saying, everybody was alive, not everybody gone. Like, locked up, jail, dead? Yeah, yeah. Grew up around a lot of like death and incarceration. Like a lot of my classmates, like a lot of like a lot of my classmates did type of shit. Yeah, that shit was that shit really was cool. You know what I'm saying? Growing up in the Kino Homes, Southside, niggas just a bunch of ghetto ass babies just running around doing what the fuck they want to do and watching the you know what I'm saying? Watching the older guys, well you know, out there hustling on the block and all that shit. You know they say you is a product of your environment. So I felt like back then we really was around all that shit. Made us want to jump in the streets and jump off the porch at an early age. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Instead of focusing on what we really should have been doing. Yeah. We was really turning up in the streets. You know? 90s baby. 90s baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm not talking about like the little badass kids in your apartment. <laughs> I'm talking about ghetto for real. Like I'm talking about breaking the TSU. and talking about BB gun fights and shit. Basketball. 11 to breaking Breaking TSU. I'm talking about vandalizing. Trying to get it, we did this shit. Nigga trying to trying to get a nigga dick wet at the age of twelve. You know what I'm saying? All type of shit. Yeah, like yeah. the nigga was really like we really thought we was a dope. We was living that fast, bro. Moving too damn fast. Nigga was moving so fast, nigga couldn't even be a child growing up. I always feel like CUNY Home. Well, I know for a fact CUNY Homes is the largest government housing in Houston. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's the largest projects. It's the largest project. Houston ain't really known for projects though. You know what I'm saying? But Kenny Holmes is one of them. What's what's some of the like probably the craziest things you was exposed to coming up in Kenny? I know you're not from Kenny Holmes, but you know what I'm saying? Shit, the drugs, yeah. dopamine, crackheads. That was the craziest shit you ever seen. Like, imagine walking outside your house and go to school early in the morning or coming home from school and you said a nigga far out. We you know what I'm saying, looking crazy. We used to like to go hoop and shit, like after school. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody used to like, like to go hooping shit at the Kenny Home basketball court. And, like, my husband was like, shit, we'll be hooping and shit. And my husband just be like, shot up type shit. Crazy. Crazy. How, how early when you, how old was you, like, when you first realized, like, damn, you know what I'm saying? This this is not normal. But you, you really, growing up and shit like that, it really is normal. You know what I'm saying? For you? Yeah, but when you realize, when, you, when somebody die, somebody that you know die, mm -hmm. as you get older, you realize this shit ain't, this shit ain't what it is. For sure. And that a lot of, of times, that's what it really take. It, it take for a motherfucker to die for you to open your eyes and be like, man, this shit ain't it. Mm -hmm. I just lost my pop. My mama just died to some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? My brother just died. That's when you really open your eyes and realize shit fucked up. You, Sevo, you, that, that's, that's something you, like, you was exposed to that death early, huh? Yeah. When you say your mama died, your partner died, those are real stories for you? No, my mama's still alive. My sister died. My partner was dying too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I lost my sister first. Yeah. How she died? My sister had asthma. Man, I'm sorry to hear that, bro. Yeah. 
So after my sister died, you know what I'm saying, I left, I'm moving past Nina. I was out there staying with my mama, I'm moving past Nina to back to third ward. And I really ain't give a fuck no more. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> By what age was he when you when you came back? Yeah, I really ain't give a fuck no more. It was fuck everybody, you know what I'm saying? It was for you, 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 you. Let me explain that shit. Cause you know what I'm saying? Cause me, me and him go through the same shit. So like, you know what I'm saying? We young and shit, right? It was a lot of shit that we shouldn't have been exposed to, bro. You know what I'm saying? What's the craziest thing you probably like? Just shit, just everyday shit. Just like, just, you know what I'm saying? Just being in, 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 in that type of environment. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It was just a lot of shit that we was, we wasn't, we wasn't supposed to be exposed to. How you think that affected you in the long run? If you could just... Shit, man, that's who he is today. Mm. Like, he wouldn't be, like, we wouldn't be right here. You wouldn't change Hell it if you could. Hell no. Nah. For sure. Hell no. Man, if them things you go through make you who you are, like... Everything happens for a reason, bro. Yeah. When mm -hmm. you don't go through nothing, it's like you really don't, you know what I'm saying, know what this life shit about. Like, we done sacrificed so much shit for this music shit, bro. <laughs> so the music is the main thing. I done lost, man, we done lost homeboys, <laughs> bitches, money, you know what I'm saying, car, all type of shit. You made high burn down. Girl. Yeah, man, I really you know what I'm saying, yeah. all, you know what I'm saying, all this shit, this is, all this shit is, you know what I'm saying, is what we sacrificing for this music shit. For sure. Like everybody got their own problem. For sure. Everybody, oh. everybody, you know what I'm saying, everybody doing their own thing. Everybody getting money. Yeah. So, uh, y'all, y'all, what y'all went to Yates? You finished? Y'all graduate? Yeah, nah, I did. You ain't graduate? I graduated. You graduated? You graduated? Now, I ain't talking about a nigga that I've been hearing Clark fucking on this bitch, nigga, and nigga, one of my favorite assistant teachers called me talking about where your ass is. I'm hearing Clark. She, boy, come to damn school, boy. You graduated. Nigga, I ain't even know. Nigga, I shot so fast from hearing Clark third award so fast, boy. <laughs> For real, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm the only nigga graduated and, and didn't even know. Nigga, didn't even fucking know. <laughs> oh, shit, that's what's up, though. So, uh, Red, you said you didn't graduate. Nah, what was the situation that made it to where you, you ain't graduated? Yeah, nigga just, I ain't gonna lie, it was a night going on around that time. You know what I'm saying? When I was supposed to be graduating. Family? A lot of, well, shit, it's just, it's just some street shit. You know what I'm saying? It was just, you know what I'm saying? Nigga was just, nigga was just surrounded by all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Nigga was just wanted to get away from that shit. You know what I'm saying? For sure. So you niggas just, out here dying every day behind this shit. Yeah. Man, it's like in the street, it's, man, it's this about, shit crazy it's right about, It's about who lasts long. You know what I'm saying? It's about who the smartest. Mm. <laughs> Everybody out here crashed on this. Talking about the generation right now? Hey, these niggas stupid and motherfuckers. Man, these niggas give up everything. Yeah, they don't look like I said. They say it all the time. I'm a, I'm a little bit older than y'all, and I be seeing this shit too, but I like it when I hear young niggas. Like, you know, speak on the foolishness they see going like, on. These niggas kill, niggas kill about action. anything. A nigga step on his shoes, he ready to die on them. Why? Almost everything he ready to go to jail for. Why, why you think it's like that? You think it's the music making it like nah, that? Niggas just got a point to prove. It's the camera making it like that. They got a point to prove. They got a point to prove. Everybody want to feel like they just the gangstest nigga in the world. You think that that's people coming from, like, them bad backgrounds where, you know what I'm saying, nigga ain't really come from, come from nothing? And a nigga would die just just to feel like something. Nah, nah. cause you got you got little little badass kid, white kids and shit try to play against the world too. That's true. That's it's true. all about the ends. It's not just the hood. A motherfucker want to look. A motherfucker see somebody you know a big time drug dealer or somebody doing some gangster shit and they feel like man I want to be something like him. I want to be better than him. Yeah. I want niggas get that shit from they surrounds. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's, yeah, it's just that shit that exists with people. It's really the times, the, the, the generation, the era. It's everything. It's not just the. Generation.